Hey guys, so today I want to teach you guys how to make salt dough, which is a type of polymer clay. It's actually a substitute, but it's super easy to make and I'll teach you guys how to make it. So first take a bowl, which is the first thing you're gonna need, and you're also gonna need a spoon. You're also gonna need some flour and some salt. It doesn't matter what how much you use, I'm using kosher salt, and I'm going to use a measuring cup as well. You're also gonna need some food coloring, which is optional, but because I want to add some variety, I'm gonna add colors. So I'm going to take my flour pot and take a cup of flour and I'm going to basically put this in the bowl because this is how big I want my salt dough to be um, and basically just have fun with it. You can have as big as you want. So now I'm going to take half the amount of flour I put, so I'm going to put a half a cup of salt and I'm going to pour this in the bowl. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a third of a cup of water and pour this into the mixture. Make sure you put in the dries first and just put the liquids after. So now what we're going to do, we are going to take a spoon and basically just stir this until it comes to a mushy, um, kind of clayish, uh, which is what we're trying to go for, mush. And what we're going to do before it turns to complete uh, dough, we're going to take a couple drops of food coloring. I'm going to do just three to two, two to three drops because I want a pastel color. If you want a darker color, you can do, mm, let's say, five drops. But so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to squish this and mold this until it gets to its blue uh, color. And because this is really sticky, I'm going to take some flour and spread this across the surface area that I'm going to mold this in. Right now it's going to be a stove. So I'm going to basically just squish this around and it's trying to turn a pastel blue, which is what I was aiming for. And I'm really happy how, how it turned out. It's a really pretty color. And I'm going to lay this aside and I'm going to put some of my uh, colored or whatever it's called, uh, salt dough, and put it aside. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of the flour on top, and because I want, I don't want this to dry out, I'm going to put some saran wrap over it, so overnight it won't dry out. So if I want to be extra careful, we're going to put this in a plastic bag, because I really like this, and yeah, that was it. Now I want to jumble these videos up into one, so for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to make dun -dun -dun -dun, a polymer clay slash salt dough donut. Yes, right. It is super easy to make and it looks delicious if my sight slays so myself, even though you can't eat it, it probably tastes horrible. <laughs> anyway, you're going to take a thingy or a pink donut or whatever color you're going to use and I am going to take my marker or anything you have around the house to make a hole in the center and I'm basically just going to form it into a donut that I want to have. So I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but it looks pretty good, almost delicious, if I might say so myself. Just kidding, it tastes horrible. Please do not eat it. It tastes, uh, salty. <laughs> now you're gonna take your other colored dough, which in my case is the blue dough. Take the same marker I did as before, roll this out, and I think this is a little bit too much for the frosting. So I'm going to take a smaller piece and basically form this into the perfect frosting. You're gonna wanna basically spread out the edges to make a frosting-like form. And this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take the marker from before again, and I'm going to basically puncture a little hole in the center. Make sure this hole is a little bit bigger than the hole that you put in the donut. I want this to stand out and it's going to look really cute. So delicately and softly and carefully, we're going to move this from the table that I was moving it on and lay it on top of the donut. And it looks pretty cute. Um, I'm doing this in a limited amount of time, so it's kind of sloppy, <laughs> sorry, but maybe you guys can do it better. This is just a quick tutorial, but now what we're going to do so it can stay hard, we are going to put it in the oven and set it and bake it at 200 degrees. And we're going to do this for about, hmm, I would say, uh, 15 minutes. That sounds good. So we're going to put this in the oven, wait for 15 minutes, and in the meantime, I'm going to play on my DS. Yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was a bit lame, but uh, you know, I'm a total Nintendo uh, sucker, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm going to stop the oven, and I'm going to take this out. I wonder what it looks like. <gasps> it looks really cute, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And after, to make a finishing touch, you can just put on some glaze to make this shiny. I did it because I ran out recently. So that's basically it. Yum. But yeah guys, that's it for today. Sorry it took such a long time to upload. I've just been working on an animation recently, and I know and hope you guys will like it. And so in the middle of whatever. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys.